In this video, we want to show you how to create a zero trust secure virtual data room with FileFlex Enterprise. Our virtual data room is a repository of information that is used for the mutual storing and distribution of confidential electronic documents. With FileFlex Enterprise, a data room is a folder located somewhere on your hybrid IT storage infrastructure that a user shares with colleagues and allows them upload rights. The recipient has visibility to what is in the folder, and they can add files to the folder by dragging and dropping them. Permission levels can be set on a user-by-user -user basis where files can either be accessed in view-only mode where downloading is prohibited, or they can be accessed with full download and editing collaboration rights. Okay, so let's get started. In this example, we have FileFlex Enterprise connected to our departmental network-attached storage drive, our cloud-hosted Amazon S3 storage, our Google Cloud, to our PC, and to our SharePoint. We could locate our virtual data room on any of these storage locations, but since it will contain confidential documents, we will put our data room on our NAS drive. It is on premises and behind our firewall. To do this, we open the NAS drive. Then we click the contextual three dot menu at the top right of the viewing pane. From the drop down, we will choose new folder and create a folder for our virtual data room. Let's call it due diligence data room. Let's populate the data room with some files. The easiest way to do this is to simply drag and drop them into the folder. Now we will ask our CFO to add some files. To do this, we will click the share icon for the due diligence folder. We enter the name of the recipient and choose it from the predictive dropdown. Then we click permissions and then choose upload. This converts the folder into a virtual data room by allowing the recipient to upload files and folders. Since this is going to our CFO, we will allow download and edit rights. Now we will add a note and then click share. Let's log in as the CFO and see how a recipient receives the data room. First, they receive an email notification. They open the email, click the link, and it takes them to the data room. You will notice that the location of the data room has been abstracted. The recipient does not know that it is on the NAS. They open the folder, and then drag and drop files into it. Let's go back to our own view now and add some external parties to the data room access. We select the due diligence folder. Notice that the new files from our CFO are now there. We click the folder share icon. We enter the names of the external recipients. For these recipients, we're going to set an expiry date for the share. Under the sharing options, we will not allow them to upload or download. They can only view the files. This is the default setting. We add a short note to the share. Finally, we click the share icon. Under a paid subscription, you can add as many recipients as you want access to this data room. There is no cost to them or additional cost to you in the creation of sharing of this data room, and you can create as many data rooms as you need. Now we want to show you the virtual data room from a smartphone. Our CTO needs to modify the product roadmap file, and we are not in the office on our PC. Since we are away from the office, we simply open up FileFlex Enterprise on our phone. We navigate to the due diligence folder. We click the three dot activity menu next to the folder and we tap the share option. We add our CTO to the recipient list. We give him permissions to download, upload and edit. We add a short note to the share, then we click share. So there you go. Using FileFlex Enterprise, we created a virtual data room, added some files to it, shared it with our CFO, who also added some files to it, and then shared it with external parties with restricted rights. Finally, from our mobile phone, we also shared it with our CTO so that he could add his own files and update his section. With FileFlex Enterprise, creating a virtual data room and controlling permissions on a user-by-user -user basis is that easy.